subscribe to save this data. Welcome back to the series where I test the old school RuneScape wiki's money making methods. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and then comment your RuneScape name down below to be entered into the giveaway so you can win the profits from these methods. And if you like these videos feel free to check out the playlist in the description box down below. But with that all being said, let's jump into today's video. Welcome to season 6 of Testing OSR's wiki money making methods and today's money maker is going to be making diamond necklaces. The only requirements you need to be able to do this method are the following. First of all, you'll want to have at least a level 56 in the crafting skill. This is so you can make these diamond necklaces. Secondly, you would want to have a necklace mold as you need this to also make these necklaces. And finally, I would recommend for some weight reducing clothing as you'll be running a decent amount back and forth from the furnace. A good one would be like a full graceful outfit. But now let's go over my gear. My gear for this video is very straightforward. All I am wearing is my weight reducing clothing. And for this video, I've gone with a complete graceful outfit. You can obtain this by doing rooftop agility. And my inventory is very simple also. All I have is 13 gold bars, 13 diamonds, and a necklace mold. But now let's go over some information about this method. Diamond necklaces are necklaces that players can make by using a gold bar on a furnace with a diamond and a necklace mold in their inventory. This requires the player to have at least a level 56 in the crafting skill to create and gives 90 crafting experience upon completion. It is also recommended to use the Edgeville furnace as it is the closest one to a bank which doesn't require requirements. And each inventory takes approximately 40 seconds to complete. This means we can aim for around 80 to 100 trips per hour. It is also recommended to have no armor equipped or use some weight reducing clothing as the extra weight severely increases stamina drain. So this is why I have recommended a full graceful outfit for this video as it is very easy to obtain. A lot of people can get this before they even reach level 60 agility. And I'm pretty sure the best rooftop to obtain the max of grace is the one in Canafis. And a, a diamond necklace can be enchanted into a phoenix necklace by using a level 4 enchantment spell. And this spell requires a level 57 in the magic skill, 1 cosmic rune and 10 earth runes. Alternatively, high level alchemy can be cast on the diamond necklaces. And this will require the player to have at least a level 55 in the magic skill. And to cast this spell, the player will need either some sort of fire staff of five fire rooms and one single nature room but as of this recording it is more profitable to just sell these necklaces back to the grand exchange than alkin them as there isn't anything left to say let's jump on over to the final price check so we can see how many necklaces we have managed to make in this one hour and to see how much money we'll be giving away in today's video if you guys want you can join my cc for all the latest updates and to know what new videos are going live just like this one you're watching right now Welcome to the final price check of making these diamond necklaces. Here in my invent is all of the necklaces we have managed to make over this one hour. So we've managed to make 1,224 necklaces. But let's just go ahead and bring up the picture on screen so we can see how much we paid for everything. And I will also go ahead and bring up a calculator. So for these diamonds, we paid 1,870. And we bought 1,200 of them. But like I said, I already, I already had some in the bank. Then I had to go back and uh, make some more gold bars so i'll just add these prices up uh, so let's go ahead and times that by one two two four one two two four which equals two two eight 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 zero we'll copy that number and then we'll just get rid of that and we paid 84 for these golden bars and um like i said uh the gold are we used in the bank i'll just go ahead and add these up also so one two two four so that is one hundred and two thousand. but then if we go ahead and add our copied number so our investment for this video was 2,391,696 gp and the price for all of these diamond necklaces comes out to be 2,483,496 gp so if we go ahead and copy that number in the calculator and then we'll just go ahead and add in the uh, net profit so 2483 four nine six and then go ahead and take away our copied number which was two three nine one six nine six so our net profit or our gross profit from this video is ninety one thousand eight hundred not the greatest money maker at all 
and that will be going away to one of you guys so let's jump on over to the spinning wheel so we can see who will be taking away these profits welcome to the spinning wheel um, we currently have 34 entries and i'm pretty sure we have a few new entries from the previous video so i'll just run off these names now one of them is mini zintana uh, the second one is curtis sawyer the third one is flex far and the fourth and final entry for this video is your mum 21212 so i'll just go ahead and shuffle this and then we will go ahead and just spin this wheel so today's one of all profits is going to be Congratulations to MCAT Blows. You are today's one of all profits. And all you have to do to claim your winnings is message me in game or join the CC. I'll put it on screen. It is B R O S R S. And that is basically how you claim your winnings. And um, yeah, but with this being said, let's jump on over to the leaderboard so we can see where this final moneymaker ranks. Welcome to the Moneymaker leaderboard. On this leaderboard, I ranked the moneymakers after I tried them and I split it into four columns. The first column is for the method I was using. The second column is for the money this method has earned me. Column three is for the order they rank in compared to the order I released the videos in. And column four is for difficulty. Because after I tried each method, I will rank it. If it is really hard to do or if it's hard to do, then I'll rank it as red hard. If it is really easy to do or if it's easy to do, I'll rank it as green easy. And if it is somewhere in between, like a lot of these methods are, then I'll rank it as yellow medium. This is for like the medium tier. So today's moneymaker was crafting diamond necklaces. And this netted us a small profit of 91,800. This was episode 16 on season 6, so we're finally at the end of this season. So everybody give themselves a pat on the back, you have made it through 16 more moneymakers. Um, I rank this one as easy to do. I was going to rank as medium because of the starting capital you need, but I thought if you have watched all of these moneymakers and if you've tried even a few of them, you're more than likely going to have the money to be able to do this one. So that is why I ranked it as easy. All you needed for this moneymaker was a i'm pretty sure it was like a level 56 in the crafting skill this was to uh, make the diamond necklaces and then all you needed was weight reducing clothing and obviously all of the products like the diamond the gold bar and the ammo mold um, the ammo mold the amulet mold or the necklace mold sorry but yeah that is why i ranked as easy there's not really a lot to say about this money maker but i hope you guys have all enjoyed this money maker and if you have enjoyed please like comment subscribe it really will help this channel grow and it will also push it to a broader audience for other people to try and find this money maker but i hope you guys have all enjoyed and i will catch you on the next season goodbye if you guys are looking around for your newest game make sure to check out cdkeys.com because they have the cheapest cd keys available on the internet for pretty much every game even new releases i'll drop a link down below if you guys want to check them out